but you will see what I click predefined or built in packages. The interviewer asked the question like this, would you be able to explain any of the five packages you have worked upon? Let us see one by one. First one is the DBMS output. This one is mainly used to see the result on the console, mainly used for testing or debugging purpose and also see the whether our logic is working correctly or not. This is a simple example. If you execute this block, hello world will be pin printed on the console. Next one is the DBMS utility. This package is mainly used to handle exceptions. DBMS underscore utility dot format error backtrace. By using this, we can able to identify the exact error line number. The enter will ask the question like this. Suppose I have a package. In that package, a function has thousand lines of code. So due to error, it has been failed. So I need to find out the exact line number. By using this package, we can able to identify the exact error line number. This simple example to understand dbms underscore utility dot format error backtrace. This function is used to result the exact error message. Like complete information can be used by using this format error stack. Next one is the UTL file. This package is used to read the file operation that is to create a TXT or CSV files or to read the content from the file. These are the functions or processes you should know. If you execute this block, uh, if a CSV file will be created, what we need to do is that uh, we need to pass the directory name and the file name and the content, what the content we need to print in that file name. So if you execute this block, PLS SQL developer will be printed on the, printed in the file name .txt in the particular directory where we have mentioned that uh, Next one is the DBMS M view. This one is used to refresh the metalized view. This is a simple example like we need to pass the metalized view so that the base table data will be refreshed into the metalized view. Next one is the DBMS scheduler. This package is used for uh, scheduling the functions or procedures. Like if you want to fun if you want to schedule anything automatically without any manual intervention at a particular time, by using this package, we can able to achieve. Let us see a sample example. So if you execute this block, like a store processor will be executed at a time of 001. That is every day it will execute at 001 AM. Just we need to process the procedure name and the time when to start and what is the frequency like it's a daily or monthly or yearly. Next one is the DBMS lock. Uh, by using this package, uh, we can suspend the sessions for a specific time and mainly it's for retry mechanism. Now the retry mechanism in the sense like if, if you are making any web service call, if it fails for first time, you'll wait for a certain period of time, again we'll retry. In order to achieve by using dbms log.sleep, we can able to achieve. If you execute this block, it will wait for five seconds. dbms random.value. By using this function, we can able to pick a random number from a given range of numbers and we can able to generate OTP. And this logic can be used for scratch card and cashback coupons. Let us see a simple example. So suppose we'll get uh, like uh, up to 10, 10 rupees cash back. We need to pass the parameters like one and 10. So we'll get a certain amount between the range of one and 10. Next one, the string. By using this function, we can able to generate random strings and capture. This is a simple example. A complete video is made on DBMS random package. If you want to go through this, Link is provided in the description section.
next one is the dbms underscore metadata dot get dtl by using this package we can able to get the source code of any function or procedure or any table this is the syntax just we need to pass the table the table name and the schema name if you want the package name we need to re replace table with package and uh, tab tab name with package name and the schema name the source code can source code can be easily achieved by using this package next one is the dbms stand uh, underscore stats dot gather table stats by using this package we can able to gather stats from a table we need to pass the table owner and table name in it this is the query which is used to get the when the table has gathered stats and uh, any st stale stats are available on it if stats are taken older then we need to execute this block so that fresh fresh gather stats will be available on this table upcoming video would be like uh, delete versus truncate we'll see the basic and advanced differences and also we'll see what is high water mark if you like the content subscribe and share the channel thank you for watching